Hello there. Do you have an idea about the story behind South Africa's flag? We will talk about the story of South Africa's flag and how it changed from that to this. And how did the people get rid of the colonization? So, are you ready for this trip? Let's go. This momentous decree came as a great beacon light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. Let's begin with how did the European colonization of South Africa start? A first settlement was established in South Africa was Dutch East India Company in 1652. It was Cape Colony. Then they established another one called Natalia. After that, British colonization came and they took over Cape and the Natalia colonies. Then it prevented slave trade. But Boers depended on slaves for the agriculture. So Boers immigrated to North and established Transvaal Republic and Orange Free State. But uh, who are the Boers? Boers is a term that means South African settlers of Dutch descent. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. Let's move to poor war. British wanted to extend their colony and united all the colonies in South Africa. So, Britain launched a military campaign to invade Dutch Transvaal Republic in 1880, but it couldn't invade it, and Treaty of Pretoria was signed, that provided for Transvaal independence, however, preventing Transvaal from expanding or seizing new lands, and also Britain will draw Transvaal's new borders. This war was called First Boer War. In 1886, gold was discovered in Transvaal and Orange Free State. Britain wanted to seize gold mines there and also unite all the colonies in South Africa. So, it sent forces to Transvaal and Orange Free State in 1899. But in this time, Britain won. Therefore, Transvaal and Orange Free State became British colonies. This was Second Boer War. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. Let's travel to 1910. We will find Britain finally achieved its dream of uniting all South African colonies under the name of Union of South Africa. It had four colonies, Cape and Natalia colonies and Transvaal Republic and Orange Free State. The General Lewis Patha was the president of the first government of the Union. Since a new union was established, it will require a new flag. So, a new flag was created, with red background that contained Union Jack or British flag at the upper left side, to indicate British rule, in addition to the Union's emblem. It was called Red Ensign, like Canada. If you watch it Canada's video, you will find it had Red Ensign too, but with some modifications. However, this flag never enjoyed much popular support, because the animosity is lingering after poor wars. In 1928, the flag was changed to this design, that was derived Prince's flag, that was originally the Dutch flag. It consisted of orange, white and the blue horizontal stripes. Additional information, the version of this flag had been used as the flag of the Dutch East India Company at the Cape, with the VOC logo in the center. The South African addition to the flag was three small flags centered in the white stripe. At the left, there is British flag. At the middle is the flag of Orange Free State hanging vertically. Then, at the right, is the flag of Transvaal Republic. In 1948, National Party became the ruling party of South Africa. It created a regime called apartheid. It means discrimination between the people on the grounds of race or color. The Union of South Africa was one of the worst examples of apartheid. That one day on the red hills of joy, 
sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood i have a dream In 1961, South Africa has become a republic, although that, the flag didn't change and also the original people didn't get their rights. Because of the apartheid, the original people of South Africa made many revolutions to demand their rights, but the government wasn't friendly at all, because its response was suppression of these revolutions and arresting the political leaders like Nelson Mandela. This suffering stayed that way till 1989. But why this year in particular? Because in 1989, Frederick de Klerk became the president of South Africa. He decided to end the apartheid regime. The National Party say we don't deal with terrorism and we don't deal with perpetrators of violence. The ANC is committed to violence at this moment, is actually implementing a policy of violence, is continuously making itself guilty of acts of violence. We released Nelson Mandela after 27 years in the prison, with all political prisoners. In addition to, he resigned all apartheid laws, as well as he left the pen of the African National Congress. It is a democratic political party. Its primary mission is bringing all Africans together as one people, to defend their rights and freedoms. I have a dream. My poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I think we spoke more about the old flags, so it's time for the new and the current flag. After South Africa got rid of apartheid, it had to get rid of this flag, because it symbolized apartheid. So in 1993, a public commission was held to design a flag for the nation. The National Symbol Commission received more than 7,000 designs, but only 6 designs were chosen and presented to the public and the negotiating council but none elicited enthusiastic support, so a number of design studios were contacted to submit further proposals, but these also didn't find favor. It seems to choose a flag in South Africa is very hard. On March 15, 1994, Fred Brunel submitted this design as a temporary design, to be used at the during the election period. This was the first multi-ethnic democratic election. The temporary flag was hoisted officially on April 27, 1994, the day which the election started on, which resulted in the inauguration of Nelson Mandela as the first democratically elected president of South Africa on May 10, 1994. The flag was well received by most South Africans, so this flag finally has become the official of South Africa till now. Let's end this video with what do the colors mean? The colors don't have a formal meaning, however, there is an opinion says, red indicates blood flowing in conflicts, blue means the sky, green indicates the territory of the country, black represents original people, white stands for European people, and finally yellow symbolized gold. It's worth mentioning that South Africa is the third richest country in Africa now. That's mean they could pass the apartheid era and start a new life. That's all, thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe to get the new videos. Also don't forget to tell me your opinion in comments. You will find all the references for our topic in description. And keep remember, be the best of everything. See you in the next video.